A new law targeting homeless campers went into effect across the state of Florida today. House Bill 1365 bans camping on city streets, sidewalks, and parks. And given that, encampments must be provided to those needing to be housed. The city and county officials spoke about that new law today, and they explained why they will not be enforcing this anytime soon. Tanner Stewart joins us now from downtown Pensacola to break down just what this means. Sue, this law is strictly for camping overnight and sleeping in public places, meaning someone necessarily hanging out in a public area won't be restricted from doing that during the day. But some officials I spoke with today say there are still some gray areas with this that will have to be worked around before this law is enforced here locally. In order for the city of Pensacola and Escambia County to enforce a new law banning public camping and sleeping, additional resources must first be available. Despite the law going into effect today, we're told there's been little discussion as to how it will be enacted here locally. We have not had any conversations in the city about any type of encampment whatsoever, and um, I have not engaged uh, with, with the county or, 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 or vice versa. Pensacola Mayor D.C. Reeves says it's something he's committed to turning around quickly, but the city and county will first need to secure the funding. They'll have until December 31st to secure the funds from the American Rescue Plan and two years to supply adequate shelter. We're going to say you can't camp here. Do we have somewhere to take you? We are investing $1 million into uh, uh, you know, semi-permanent structures that our current users will be able to utilize on property that they own. Both Pensacola Police and Escambia County Sheriff's Office tell me they won't be enforcing anything until plans are rolled out from City Council and the County Commission. The Sheriff's Office tells me they will step in when requested and prepared to make an arrest against violators. The mayor noted putting members of the homeless community behind bars isn't the answer. We're not sitting around doing nothing. My hope is, uh, number one, we're going to follow the state law, period, uh, and, and the ordinance will affirm that. Um, uh, I also don't believe the arresting our way out of homelessness is not is not going to solve our problem. Other policymakers say there's a lot of gray area in the legislation. While local governments are tasked with enacting the new law by alerting violators, local law enforcement will inevitably be needed to enforce it at some point. That's according to Escambia County Commissioner Mike Kohler, who was unavailable to go on camera today, but tells me he understands the law's intent. It will now be up for the county to work with law enforcement to honor the law. And the mayor says before that deadline at the end of December, he's asking the task force on homelessness to survey some of these existing nonprofits to see just how many shelters they could take and how many really that they would need in general moving forward. And the mayor says the ultimate goal is to not only move some of the homeless community into these areas, but get them out and back into society. Reporting live tonight, downtown Pensacola, I'm Tanner Stewart.